All right, guys, welcome back. So in today's question, we have the rod AP that exerts a force F on the sector as shown, and we need to determine both the X, Y, and NT components of the force. Uh, so the main message in this question is that uh, we can use any perpendicular set of axes, uh, but we tend to go with X and Y axis since it's easier to visualize. Uh, but we can go with any set of axes. So let's start with the X and Y component first. Uh, so if we look at the force, we have the force F. So we have the force F and we have our X and Y, which from the question, we know this is Y and this is X. And we also know this angle is beta. And what I'm showing here is our X and this will be our Y. We're finding the um, fx and fy. Uh, let's start with the fx, which is a negative amount, and this will be our fy, which is also a negative. So for fx, we simply have minus f times uh, sine of beta, and for fy, we'll have minus f times cosine of beta. So that was the first part, which was determined to x, y component. So for the nt component, here is our n, and this will be our t. So we have this force f again, and this time our axis would be a little bit different. And what we have is we have this as our n, and we have this one as our t. So what we know from here is that this angle is beta, which is the angle of F with the vertical axis, which is Y. And if we continue the line of action of this force, uh, what we have in here is that we consider this our Y, this will be also beta. And we have another information in here that N would make alpha with the horizontal or x-axis. So what we need to do for force F, we need to find uh, first uh, one of these missing angles, either this one or this one. And if we look at this angle, we'll see based on the previous, uh, we covered this in previous videos, when we have two angles that each side is perpendicular to the other one, these two angles will be the same. And if we look at in here, we'll have uh, this one and this one which as we can see each side is perpendicular to the other one and therefore these two angles that i'm showing in green are the same and if that's the case this angle here will be alpha 2 now it's easy to solve this since we have all the angles that we need if we want to go with fn the component is a positive because it will be at the positive direction of both n and t and if we want to show fn and fd so basically what we have in here this will be our fn and this will be our ft and we know this angle is alpha plus beta so in this case our fn simply will be f times sine of alpha plus beta and our fd will be f times cosine of alpha plus beta and this was this would be the answer for this question as i mentioned at the beginning of the question um, it's important to understand that any perpendicular set of axes can be used uh, but we tend to uh, use x y axis as it's easier to visualize